we just don't know. She's talking about the mysterious formula to pay for repairs, renovations, and construction at Chicago Public Schools. The Board of Education votes tomorrow on a $1 billion plan. Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. Rob is off today. One Chicago school gets $18 million for a new roof and windows, another $3.5 million for a turf field. But dozens of schools get nothing in the capital improvement plan. We wanted to know how does CPS decide, so we sent our Roseanne Tejas to find out. Well, we got zero. Roberta Salas, a parent and LSC member from Murphy Elementary on Chicago's north side, says her school was left out of a $989 million capital improvement plan for Chicago Public Schools. You can view the plan online. While other schools like Phillips High School in Bronzeville got $8.2 million for athletic amenities and Clinton Elementary in Ravenswood is receiving $17 million for a new roof, others are getting nothing, which has Salas asking questions. What kind of community input did they get? Yet, how are they deciding? And my answer is, it's a mystery. It's it's a it's a mystery. We just don't know. In the Pilsen neighborhood, Rosa Esquivel is asking about money for Juarez High School, where portions of the roof recently blew off in a storm, an incident she blames on disrepair. We only receive around one million dollars uh, of budgeting for our schools here in Pilsen. Parents say they need at least four million to address problems with air conditioning, plumbing, and more at Juarez and nearby Pilsen Academy. Every time that we don't see that our children are receiving the resources that they need, we need to question our politicians and our public officials. And we did ask CPS for comment just receiving moments ago some comments. They say the budget is based on the needs of the school communities, which also takes into account modernization efforts and improvements from previous years. They tell us that some investments are still in the process of being assessed and some spending streams, Erica, are specifically set aside for emergencies. The board will vote on this plan tomorrow. So of that $1 billion, is there an amount that's still left over and what exactly is it? There are $355 million set aside. And again, all they tell us is that the projects are still being evaluated mm -hmm. and that money is still left to be allocated. Okay. Thank you, Roseanne.